Very least, I, I am not surprised we're seeing Diddy in game one. Duck Hunt from Fawn, no surprise at all either on their end. Um, with that said, though, um, we are going to go right into this game. Um, now, again, the, the reason this matchup tends to be so tough for Diddy Kong is mainly because there are so many things preventing Banana from, like, performing its proper function. Um, like, Duck Hunt has so many ways of shutting it down, whether it be the Gunman, whether it be um, the Can, um, all these, like, things that have hurt boxes yeah. make it really, really difficult for Diddy to, you know, do anything with Banana. Yeah, no, it definitely does. Like, Diddy wants you to, like, sit and shield, mm -hmm. mainly, but you don't need a shield if you just have those pseudo shields, like, of like mm -hmm. people just going through, and as we say that, Peko is actually doing good. Yeah, you know, see, <laughs> this is why we stop. We don't curse yeah. people out here. <laughs> no, yeah, but it, it's been a solid start for Peko for sure. Getting this damage is a great start. Again, the thing is though, um, Duck Hunt is going to be able to probably be netting those kills, even though like Duck Hunt is notorious for like killing late. Um, in a matchup like, like Diddy, you know, Diddy's openings come so much from Banana, come so much from things like Monkey Flip that Duck Hunt's tools shut down so well that like Duck Hunt's average stock should probably be a little bit lower than Diddy Kong's in terms of actual percent. Yeah, no, I definitely agree with that. And okay, yeah, the run up of Smash just caught her pressing a button right there. So you have to press neutral B to control the pan, so which means you're probably not in a forward motion. So you're just kind of stuck in the hit lag because Duck Hunt does a little dance every time. Yeah, it, the no. neutral B is like where they're idle. Yeah, no, and that's that's the thing. Like Duck Hunt does the anim the startup animation of Can, and not only does the startup animation. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, had to go a little bit further on the stage there to yeah. Peko to uh, not uh, bounce off. But still, 51% is by no means bad extra credit, and especially when you already have Duck Hunt in the corner, that's huge, right? Now, this is the position where Diddy actually can get things um, done because. Unlike, you know, a lot of matchups where Diddy like, likes to play mid-range a lot of the time yeah. because of Banana Burst range, um, in this matchup, Diddy kind of has to play on top of Duck Hunt, right? When thinking that the... Um, Ooh, oh my god. Diddy a little bit too small for that F Smash to fully connect. Absolutely would have taken the stock for Fawn in that position. Yeah, no, that was kind of dangerous right there. All right. And this is where I think, like, the hard part is, like, mm -hmm. Diddy suit, like, pseudo landing are, like, forced to do jump-ins. Mm -hmm. And, because Fawn has done such a great job of, like, controlling the air and great job of anti-airing in general. Like, I had the great ability to cast her Monday, mm -hmm. where she got fourth at Fusion, and she is no sleeper. She was anti-airing everybody. Yeah, no, um, and Duck Hunt, like, sort of plays into that game. Plays into, you know, catching jumps. However, um, that's twice now that we've seen Peko with a call out um, on a uh, like B button press yeah. by Fawn in the corner and took full advantage, down tilt forward there to take the stock in the corner, gonna be able to do it. Ooh, tougher to get around that for sure, but is gonna be able to. Goes really high with that recovery. And ah, so yeah. that, that interaction there is so big um, because the up tilt normally there obviously isn't that negative. Mm -hmm. like, Fawn can't uh, do Nair out, yeah. but um, because of the gunman extending the hurt the uh, hit lag on um, Diddy up tilt, ended up getting punished by the Nair. Okay, that's actually really cool. Like, and what's so dope is like they play so much, so much. Like, not many people you see punish the neutral B of Can. Yeah, Peko literally like plays goes to Zeno every week, plays at Waypoint, and S Brooklyn. All like three of these looks always playing against Fawn. This. This is a matchup he probably has played like a thousand times against yeah. her. So, okay, wow, and yeah, the use, utilization of monkey flips and dashes have been so good, going all the oh. way off and di out by Fawn. She was definitely trying to like drift away yeah. to get away from the fair range once um, you know Peckle positioned himself to be yeah. there, but um, didn't have enough time to do it, and the di was straight out and died to that fair. Yeah, no, did he got some big feet? He do. Yeah, right here you can see it, and I mean, I, I want to see if we can see the. Um, the DI um, yeah, let's angle see. here. Just, uh, can we see it there? It's kind of tough. Um, oh, yeah, the way, yeah, just barely at the end right there. You can see it, and it is going straight out, not yeah. a uh, you know up and out direction. Yeah. So that definitely uh, caused Vaughn to lose the stock there. Um, and it is, it is Peko in the matchup that you know previously has been very tough for him um, going up. Yeah, I don't think he's won. Being fun, at I, least on Duck Hunt. I don't think so either. So um, this will be really big, for sure. If not a first, this doesn't. This win does not happen very often. No. But to take the set. You got to take two games. Yeah. No. And I like Fawn. She's so so good at adapting yeah. to you know gameplay. 
And we're going to see if she's able to... Oh! oh almost got yeah. the full banana combo. Left. But I love the utilization of battles there to finish the frame trap, right? You still you didn't get the kill, but you still maintained advantage state in that position. Yeah. That was so good, but misses the tech! Oh, no. And that Fawn is... is back to stage. Yeah, that's not what you want to have happen right there. Doing so good. And I like the fact that Pekka was going off stage, challenging Fawn in these, like, bad situations. But now everything has just reversed, and you see Fawn just going off. Yeah, and it's a huge momentum boost, right? Because, you know, Pekko had so much momentum going into that and does end up getting the stock right there with the barrels. But um, now you're down a full 85% when you absolutely should have been up a stock, right? Yeah, no, definitely. And 111, one, one. that's my favorite number. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's tough. Hard to know when the, where the can is going to send you there. Um, hard to know that you have to tech in that position. Uh, Fawn taking full advantage there, though. Yeah. And not, I just always think about that first stock, but we can't loom on the pass. Ooh. If you're Peko, he's getting a combo started, but 48%, you want a bit more, and he's getting a bit more. Yeah, and the pressure with Banana on shield has been very good thus far. Ooh, and drifts away to get out of the way he can there. However, Fawn comes back in with the uh, neutral, or rather with the dash attack, able to um, win neutral once again, and now has stage control. Again, this is the position, this is the distance that is so, so tough for Diddy Kong to deal with. You know, um, under the platform is um, Duck Hunt, and Diddy has only so many methods of approach to, to like, you know, pretty poor air mobility. Yeah, all right, the down tilt, yeah, That's F it. smash. Yeah. All right, we're going to a game three. Yeah, so, so tough for Diddy to get out of that position. You know, conversely, like, you know, where Diddy wants Duck Hunt to be in the corner, it's sort of the same thing around with, um, with Duck Hunt for Diddy Kong. You know, Duck yeah. Hunt wants Diddy Kong in the corner. It's so tough for Diddy Kong to get out. Um, however, you know, Duck Hunt really, like, takes that a step further because, like, Duck Hunt is going to kill you off those interactions if you guess wrong, where Diddy just resets, right? Yeah, no. If, if Diddy guesses right, he gets fair, he gets forward air, or forward air, back air, and, you know, resets the ledge trap. Ugh, yeah, that's so tough. Yeah, um, and you saw, like, tried to barrel just, like, somewhat kill Fawn off the side, but... Yeah. Because he knew he was dead. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That was so unfortunate. Very unfortunate, but we are going right back to small battlefield, running it straight back, both of these players have. And we are going straight into game number three. Ugh, dashing oh. straight down into the clay pigeon there. Took a clean 24% to start a stock. Yeah, definitely not an ultimate frisbee champ right there. Yeah, only. Right. And, okay, start. we start. We saw the dash in, but now it's Becko gathering himself, trying to play it slow, but Fawn just catching him. And he's starting Sharky's landings again. Yeah, no, it's been super tough. For um, ooh, for Becca to get back into the ground, that's definitely a dash attack there. Di out, really smart by there by Fawn. The recognition to Di out on dash attack, not just because like you know anti combo, yeah, um, but also just to make sure that um, she was in the vicinity of the can to make it you know difficult for Pecco to like, get a follow up and not get hit for it as well. Where in a position now where you know Pecco can't trade. Yeah, no, yeah, tra trading is not in the strong suit right there. <laughs> Falls out of the up air, but quick jab one two three. Allows Fawn to maintain that stage control on the roll in. Oh, and just barely, like, missing that punish. And oh, Pecco that's worth it. That's worth it. That's 100% worth it. it. I like this. <laughs> My boy Munel likes this. That, like, you're, you're down that much. Oh, suicide stock all the way down there is yeah. 1 million percent worth it. We know Devin it. likes it. He has to yeah. replay for the viewers. Yeah. I, I'm for this. Ah, ah. So let's get down there. But yeah. Um, after, even after that, Pekko has dealt 60%. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, um, but, you know, it's significantly better than the position that yeah. he was in before. No, okay, that's going to be damage. Okay, now you have to get down to the floor. Not going to be able to strike the landing in time. Uh, Pekko does get that air dodge out, knowing the up air is coming. Fast falls down with the neutral air dodge. Yeah. Uh, and this is so tough. Yeah, once you, like... Once you maintain that stage control, it is really, really difficult for Fawn. Ooh, didn't get to the second to the bouncer, but back to stage was just huge. Yeah, and the big part here is Fawn is allowing Peko, or no, Peko's allowing Fawn to like set up, like you see, like he dashes back and it just gives her so much room. Before when he took the game, he was kind of somewhat on top of her. And That's a stock, it's a I huge like banana. I like that, he chose his opportunity. Mm -hmm. He didn't force his way in. You got you play under. I like to say play under his terms, mm -hmm. essentially. Even though like they're setting it up, it's like okay, I'm going in when I want to go in. Yeah, and the, the, the thing is though now like on in the, oh great tech, but air dodge is no, down. No, he's, he's good. He's good. I just he's, barely not. Yeah, I'm a liar. Yeah, no. I was like, Diddy Kong, are we getting back from air dodge down? Like I don't know. 
Okay, that's big jabs from Fallen Air. Doesn't end up getting the banana though. Pego did grab that before it came out. Nice utilization of the banana pressure on the shield. Air dot, or rather spot dodge is trying to get out of the situation. However, not able to get past the gunman. Okay. Oh, oh. doesn't reset with a grab there. Yeah, it just kind of waited, unfortunately. And that could be like some of the nerves taking place. Okay, that's so yeah. big. Rolling, ca getting past coming, getting past the can there. Yeah, and I kind of like the S-Mash there. Just reset, just go for the raw damage right there. Mm -hmm. and just try not to mess anything up. We got to parries. Okay, that's huge. That fair gets in. Up air on, on the platform. Now in the corner. Stage control. This is so big. If Pego could get stock here, that would be massive. Okay, take, you can take a trade at this percent. As long as you reset the situation, that can placement so good by Fawn, though. Allowing oh. her to get out of the corner in just the first hit of can. Yeah, the tick. Oh! No, he's all right okay. right now. But another one of those will, could definitely do it. So scary. And Fawn just retreating back to the corner. Up air, back air, no. Yeah, not no, still going to be enough. Cross stage. Oh! Okay, just a grab for the punish. Oh, okay. oh but DI's in. Still able to Go, get out. Lives the, the shot. In. Oh my oh. gosh, the barrels is enough! Blow her up. That was insane. There were so many situations where Peko would, would not have died trying to get back down to ledge there, and the barrels was just the perfect choice here. Yeah. Uses jump to get around the can, stalls above yeah. the um, clay pigeon, and as Fawn is dashing back, as soon as she recognizes the situation, like, oh god, I have to get out of here or I yeah. am dying. Pego releases the uppy in yeah. time and takes the stock. Man. This, is, this, this was huge. This yeah. was massive. Yeah, because once the can came out, got around it, and you said, I'm suiciding this stock away God every day of the week. Yeah, that, that was the only answer. Like, there's no other answers yeah. you can do there. So, so good by Pego. And, and I, I love that one. Yeah. it's That was so big because, like, run un under the can right there. Well. We're going to see the can reset, yeah. run under, ready oh, under, and just so catch that, it. So that is really interesting, uh, just for a couple reasons. Let's so, break it down. Okay, so, I'll uh, just get a couple more frames yeah. back. Okay, so in this position here, I believe that Fawn believes that she is safe to, um, you know, be by gunman yeah. from banana, right? Because mm -hmm. naturally you would do that. Yeah. But if you see here, where the banana gets thrown, Fawn dashes forward and the gunman and the and duck hunt are in the same exact spot yeah you can see i'll just zoom in real quick Whoop. no Whoop. double, double tap, tap. Oh. i'm not used to all this i mean i know i, I should be used to that in one out hands. but you can see here duck hunt and the gunman are in the same exact spot and you're actually going to see when the banana hits it hits both of them yeah no not they, just duck hunt or the gunman meaning they were like the same exact place which they, is pretty they sick. both tripped so yeah, and then you can see from here, Peko is going to take the stock, right? Yeah, that, that was a fabulous stock. Yeah, just the dash forward there cost uh, on the stock. And the, just huge plays. Yeah. This was massive. Um, and just getting around the yeah. shenanigans right there. And uh, Peko is now in winner's, winner's finals. finals. Yeah. yeah, winner's finals. The boy's strong. Um, I don't mean to disappoint you. That set was sick and very exciting. But um, 